I've got two blocks here that appear to be the same. And I usually, I pass them around to my students and I ask them if they feel the same. And they'll always tell me that one of them feels colder than the other. Now this is a really common misconception that they have. They think that because metals feel colder that they are colder than everything else in the room. They don't realize if this thing has been in a bag and I've been carrying it around, they all have to be at the same temperature. So we have a nice discussion of the fact that if I haven't been touching it and it's in the room, then everything in the room is at the same temperature. Then, you know, we have a discussion about the fact that many of them have seen the same advertisement I have on television where they have the amazing ice or meat defrosting um, pan that they sell. And they put a piece of steak on it and the thing defrosts in minutes and they're trying to sell it for a great deal of money because it defrosts meat in no time at all. So I say, all right, now this block feels warm and this block feels cold. Let's put them down and remember that the block that felt cold is on my left. Now, I've got two rings that are here just in case there's water dripping off the side, okay? And I've just got some ice cubes and I want you to observe, this is the one that felt cold and this is the one that felt warm. I'm just gonna put some ice on both of these. And you should be able to observe immediately that the one that felt cold is melting the ice. And the one that felt warm, the ice is barely melting on. So we have a discrepant event. We need to, and then so I asked the students, what's going on? Well, we're talking about thermal conductivity here. And most of them, after we passed it around, have figured out that the one that felt cold was the metal. Metals are much better conductors of heat than non-metals. It turns out that all that amazing defrosting block was, was a piece of aluminum that was spray painted black that they were selling. So we've kind of duplicated this here. And the ice is melting very, very quickly because aluminum is a very good conductor of heat. And so the thermal energy from the table is being transferred up to the ice. The wood is a very poor conductor of heat and you can, you can see a dramatic difference. My little O-ring didn't do a very good job of holding all the water in place. But the kids really enjoy this in demonstration and it points out to them a couple of things. One, we, we can talk about thermal conductivity, but the other thing is that everything in the room has to be at room temperature. So I think this is a, a great demo and it's absolutely amazing really how quickly that ice melts to most, most of the kids are awed by it.